Welcome back. We are live here on Facebook UFC on Fox, and we have another special guest. I'm Andy Nesbitt. This, of course, is Michelle Watterson. Michelle, welcome. Thank you for having me. You walked in here and you said, is this the place where they play with bananas? <laughs> and I was like, what is she talking about? <laughs> I, just, I saw the background and I got flashbacks. Yes, <laughs> this is where Sage uh, broke the pineapples. And the bananas, and right? The bana they're oh, like, can, can you break the banana? <laughs> I saw something of him on, him on uh, Instagram yesterday, last night where he was like, he did a flip. And like in the mid flip, he broke an apple with his foot. Sage? Oh, see, that's fancy. If fruit is around, they don't feel safe when, when Sage is around. Yeah, he just he loves needs to, to just get destroy. sponsored by Ninja Fruit, right? Yeah. Somebody. Is that fruit ninja or ninja fruit? I, I don't know. I don't eat a lot of fruit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so look at you. You're you're a star now, huh? Ah. You're fighting this Saturday night on Fox. Yes. Uh, another big fight for you mm -hmm. with Rose. And it, huge, yeah. the last time I saw you, you were choking out Paige Van Sant. Yeah, that was a great fight. Everything <laughs> kind of fell into place perfectly. It was a good camp. I didn't have any injuries. Mm -hmm. And and so, you know, sometimes you have really good fights and yeah. they turn out that way. I rewatched it last night and it was uh like you held that choke on her for for a long time. Oh like she gosh. just wouldn't give her face was purple. I just I remember watching tape on her uh, fighting Rose actually yeah. and just thinking to myself, this girl is not giving up. Like she got out of every single one of Rose's submissions until the very end. Mm -hmm. And so I knew what I was getting myself into. And so I remember getting that choke and, f and, and thinking in my head, she's squirming, she's squirming, she's gonna get out, she's gonna get out, and just like having this self-talk in my head yeah. and being like, Michelle, if you let go, <laughs> your arms are gonna be completely dead. So don't let go. Yeah, because you let go, yeah, all of your energy uh -huh. that, you, that you use there. I mean, we see how T would do that with um, with yeah. Wonder Boy in their first fight in New York. Yeah, and it's it's one of those things like, sh do you want to take the risk of blowing your, you know, you know, blowing your wad on yeah. on one choke or, or what? You, but but I had I had faith in my is my submission, and I knew that it was in tight, and that I just yeah. had to be patient. So so big win over Paige, and uh, I I feel like the the UFC wants to do big things with you, and I'm hearing that that you might have a new deal in the works. I hope so. Do you have a new deal coming from the UFC? Um, Are you not allowed to talk about it? Well, if it's if it's them <laughs> airing the Fight Mom. Yeah. Um, okay, yes. Th that's very exciting. The fight Mom, if you guys haven't watched yeah. this documentary on, on her. And her, 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 her your daughter's hilarious. Oh, my gosh. Like, whenever anybody puts a microphone in front of her, she, like, <laughs> knows exactly. Like, her comedic timing is unbelievable. She's a ham, I swear. <laughs> I don't know where she gets it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who knows? Uh, her mom seems like a pretty funny lady. Yeah. But yeah, and so you can watch that. Uh, is that gonna be on Fox? It's gonna be on FS1. It's yes. gonna air uh, tomorrow, I think. And then uh, I think they're cutting it down to the 45-minute version. Mm -hmm. If you want to see the whole version, you can uh, watch it on Fox Sports, yeah. or you can watch it on Fight Pass. Fight Pass. Or you can watch it on Uninterrupted.com. Either one. Yeah, it was, a, it was an incredible story. I mean, your your days are so busy. Yeah. Like I was watching you. I'm like, God. You get your daughter to school, you go work out in the morning, you do some errands, you go work out in the afternoon, then you, sometimes you're teaching classes, mm -hmm. and you're, you're just all over the place. And you, and you have a daughter that you're raising. Yeah. And it's just, it's got to be exhausting. The time goes by really fast, and um, I don't have, sometimes I don't have time, <laughs> and this is kind of embarrassing to share, but sometimes I don't have time to shower until the very end oh, of the night. Oh, I was going to say know. something. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to do what you got to do. Yes. You know? Sacrifice. Uh, sacrifice. <laughs> I did some research on you. I did some journalism research uh -oh. to find stuff out about you. Cowboy Cerrone pretty much got you into yeah. into fighting. Mm -hmm. How did that happen? Well, uh, funny story. <laughs> 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 so when I was in college, uh, I, um, I did a bunch of like photo shoots and stuff like that. I worked mm -hmm. at Hooters. So yeah, Me too. You know, yeah, those yeah. bikini shots. Yeah, I could totally <laughs> see you in the pretty. I was huge bikini. at Hooters. They loved me there. <laughs> I look great. In, I look great in orange shorts. I actually <laughs> didn't think I could get a job at Hooters because I thought you had to have, Kay. have them, but I, you don't. <laughs> so, anyways, different story. But uh, no, um, yeah. So I was I was actually a ring girl mm -hmm. at a local fight, and I remember talking to the promoter about being interested in fighting because I grew up doing martial arts, and I remember watching the fights and being like, wow. What they're doing on the inside of the octagon looks way more fun than what I'm doing here on the outside. Mm -hmm. And so I talked to my promoter, and he kind of, like, blew me off. But Donald actually overheard me um, talking about how interested I was. And so he, he came into my job and left me a note. And he's like, hey, if you're serious about getting into fighting, get your butt in the gym. And Sounds like cowboy. Yep. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, then, and then we started training, and I haven't yeah. looked back since. 
Cowboy's uh, Cowboy's a great guy. We've talked to him a bunch of times on yeah, this show. Yeah, he is. And when he says something and you should do it, you're like, okay, yeah, I should. I should he do what Cowboy he definitely says. has that personality. Uh, just he, and, and a very um, very brash personality. Yeah. But it kind of it kind of puts things into perspective when he's just like, well, why not? Yeah. Just do it. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, why not? Like then you, then you're like, man, I've been overthinking it this whole time. Just. <laughs> Just do it, you know, yeah. and so th that's kind of the, that's kind of how we just did it. And we just I just took fights whenever and whoever and I fought, whatever, wherever we drove out to fight. Um, I took uh, my I, so I did a bunch of like uh, kickboxing smokers and then I was supposed mm -hmm. to do an amateur MMA fight. The girl that was supposed to fight fell through and the only girl that they had available was already pro. So I turned pro without having any amateur MMA fights. Cause really? Yeah, because Donna was like, well, you've been training. What you going to do? <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to fight. And then I fought. So you got in there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, so Ronnie, last time we had him in here, he'd been talking like he'd been doing a whole day of media. So uh -huh. I'm like, uh, I start off by saying, like, y let's not talk about the fight. You've talked about it probably all day long. Tell me something like about scuba diving. Yeah. He's like, you want to uh, hear about how I almost died last week scuba oh diving? Oh my gosh! That and like, was yes, he was like seventy feet down below, and like his tank died, and he was like, I had to get back up to the top and not die. I'm like, God damn it, cowboy! It, that's it, incredible. It, that's insane. But isn't it crazy? But to me, like that correlates with fighting because yeah. it's like, okay, how do you stay calm under pressure? Mm -hmm. You know, like there, you there, you have two choices: stay calm and and fix the problem and live, or freak out and and die. Yeah. What you guys do in that afternoon is crazy because I was like fourth row for uh, Cody, Dominic Cruz. And it was like my first time really at one of those big fights. We were usually out back mm -hmm. interviewing you guys when you guys were done fighting, but we didn't have anyone set up. So they came, they, th I went out there to watch that fight. And like a minute in, I was exhausted. Like the energy oh in these gosh. places. And like, I don't know how you, how you guys do what you do in, the, in those octagons. It's incredible. It is pretty fun. I don't think I last very long. <laughs> 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 Just I do it. <laughs> I'm know. sure, I'm, I'm surprised Donald hasn't talked to you We got a question fighting. from somebody out there on Facebook, Jenko? Uh, a comment. Uh, Lou says, oh. yeah, that's not, I'm Andy Nesbitt, by the way. That's, that's who he's talking to. And Steve says, what's the Why game plan you? for Rose? Push the pace or go with the flow? What's the game plan for Rose? Push um, the pace or go with the flow? Rose Damianis is a bad woman. Yeah, she is. Yeah. Um, and I think it just really depends on where the fight goes. Um, I I if she's sitting back, obviously I have to push the pace, you mm -hmm. know. But if she's the one pushing forward, then I'm just going to go with the flow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did some more research on you, and this is kind of weird stuff. Uh, you're good at making noises. <laughs> <laughs> Versus the bananas. No. The <laughs> Can I, uh, you do a really good dolphin. Yeah, I do have. Can I put I you on the spot? Sure. I'll put, have you ever heard of, I'll, I'll go first. You, okay. Do you know who Ray Romano is? Comedian? Mm -hmm. Ray, everyone loves Raymond? Uh -huh. I do a very good, I do a very good Raymond. Okay, let's you hear it. You want to hear it? No. <laughs> all right, that's great. <laughs> that's basically Ray Romano is right that there. It? That's all I have. Oh, right? I don't have anything else. <laughs> I have one word. So I can't go on the road with it just no. yet. No. No. You got you got it, man. See? That's but that's too easy. Do the peacock. The peacock. Meow! Meow! <laughs> Meow! <laughs> do the dolphin. <laughs> My dolphin's terrible. That sounds like a sheep. Like a like a <laughs> It sounds like a machine gun. <laughs> How did you like? How did you figure out I can do the peacock? I don't know. I had uh, my grandpa used to own a farm. And okay. There were peacocks on the property. So you're you're born into it. Well, it was your it was your destiny to be a peacock destiny. impersonator. Yeah, we would just it was just a very distinct sound, and I just I don't know. I can you hear the peacock one more time? Meow, <laughs> meow. <laughs> <laughs> Jenko, peacock like I'll, t I'll take your word for it. You don't know what a peacock I've never, like? No, I've never heard of a peacock. Oh, well. You, well gotta, you can hear it over there on the computer. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta Google it. Um, okay. Uh, we also did a video last week on you on our show of you kicking that uh, water bottle off Bob's head. Uh -huh. Is it Bob? Yeah. <laughs> you seem to be surprised. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Go to our Instagram. What's your Instagram, by the way? So My people Instagram can go watch is Karate Hottie MMA. Karate Hottie MMA. Um, you kick a water bottle off a dummy's head. Yeah. How did you seem surprised? Your reaction after it was like you seem surprised you um, did it. I, I don't know how many other outtakes I had taken before that one. Really, it wasn't the what first time. <laughs> it was not the first <laughs> okay. time. And then everything I, on the internet's not like real. <laughs> <laughs> it's been. <laughs> and then, everyone on Instagram's not really happy all the time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
I was like, and that's, and I even kind of looked kind of silly at the end of that one too, because I didn't know where the bottle was going. Yeah, but you kind of like crashed into the wall, yeah. and you're like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> but it was funny, and I was like, all right, put it up, uh, put it in, put it, it was, into the cloud. It was, it was a high kick. Yeah, it was. It, it's fun. I try to do stuff like that, and and then my friends started sending me videos of like, uh, you know, taekwondo experts and stuff like that, just. Piecing, piecing up Bob and yeah. kicking <laughs> the the water bottle with 540s and 720s, and and then I felt silly for po posting my video, but um, it's all in fun. Yeah, we love we love following you guys on Instagram. Um, you guys should go follow our Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and just all over the place. All over. Joanna said recently that she would like to fight you after 211 at some point. I think that would be a great fight. Um, you know, uh, that's where I want to go. I want the gold. I want to go to the top. You got all serious right there. <laughs> <laughs> my, my predator face came out. Or you're sitting around and like you're just like enjoying your day, working out, and all of a sudden you're like on Twitter and you're like, "Yo, why don't to fight me at some point?" And it's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, you know, during training camp, I really try to stay away from reading all the social media and stuff like that because it mm. just deters me from. I, like you said, I, I I don't have time to, to. I don't even have time to shower, so yeah. it, I don't have time to to go on social media and and read all the things that people are saying. So um, I, I'm quite flattered that Joanna. Uh, would like to fight me, and I think it would be a great fight. Mm -hmm. well, we're really looking forward to your fight Saturday night on Big Fox. This is the tough part, right? I mean, all the training's done, but now you got to cut weight. And lately, we've seen yeah. a lot of weight cuts gone wrong. Khabib, uh, we had DC do the towel trick the other day. <laughs> like this weight, <laughs> this this weight cutting is is difficult, isn't it? Uh, you know, it was when I was fighting at 105, but now that I'm at 115, I feel mm -hmm. I feel great. I have good energy. I'm still eating. I'm, I'm drinking lots of water. I'm staying hydrated. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I feel good. Yeah. I'm only cutting probably, I'll probably only cut three or four pounds of water. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Was, uh, we were talking to Mighty Mouse, who's in here before you, mm -hmm. and we were talking about DC doing the towel trick. And is that really a thing? I is don't it? know if it's a th I don't. I don't Mighty Mouse said I it's a real thing. Like he said, he could like put his hand on his desk and like change his weight by a pound and, and, and a half. And let me say, hey, if you make the weight, you <laughs> fight. That's that. That's what it is. If I did that towel trick, I'd go from like two twenty to like one forty, and they'd be like, "What happened?" Like I don't know. Something on your scale. I'm not cheating. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to cheat. Oh man. <laughs> I don't know. I have to go back and see like all the controversy around it. But um, yeah. I mean, my thing is, you know. You train to fight, you make the weight, and you go in and you fight. Those mm -hmm. are the responsibilities of a fighter. And, um, you know, DC is a champ and for a reason. And, and he made the weight, and they fought, and he won, you know. So mm -hmm. that's all you can ask for. Will your daughter be there uh, Saturday yeah. night? She will. She sat like for, like for up close for your page fight, right? Yeah. She does she, does she like it all? Does she get nervous for you She's when watching these yeah. fights? She's at every single one of my fights, and it's funny because the last time we were in Sacramento, that was like Paige's like adopted hometown, yeah. and so there weren't really too many Karate Hottie fans in the crowd, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and uh, there were this group of people behind my family that were there for Paige, and they were rooting for Paige, and they were like, go Paige, and Maria turns around, and she's all, you know, I really like Paige, and she's a nice girl, but my mom's going to beat her. <laughs> 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 she's what? How old is she? Six years old. She's six. She's hilarious, <laughs> and she likes watching you beat people up. She, um, she, she, yes, she does. Yeah. She, she'll be at the gym, and she, she cheers me on. She's my little cheerleader, and yeah. uh, um, after my last fight, a couple of her classmates, um, watched me fight too, and yeah. you know they have free time where they can do stuff, and I, I went to pick her up from school one day, and one of her classmates had drawn a picture of me fighting Paige. And really? it was like, there were stick figures. It was super cute. And yeah. it was like me, like with a <laughs> smile on my face, stick figure. And then the other girl was like a sad face and it had like blood coming down. And <laughs> she was like running for the, the fence or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> it was super cute. And I was like, oh, I'm going to have to hang this on the fridge. Yeah. She must go to school and be like, yeah, my mom fights people. She's in the UFC. What's up? <laughs> what does your mom do? Oh, she's an accountant? Cool. My <laughs> mom's fighting in Kansas City, Saturday night on Big Fox. I don't know if it's like. It's so normal to her, yeah. you know. It, she like she goes to the gym and she sees, you know, Donald mm -hmm. Cerrone and and uh, John Dotson, Holly Holm, uh, John Jones. These she sees these people yeah, every day. It's an amazing gym. So to her, it's normal. Yeah, you know, it's well, crazy. We can't wait to watch you fight Thank Saturday you. night and uh, check out Fight Mom and check out her Instagram. She has a lot of fun things on there, and uh, maybe a new deal coming to the UFC. And uh, Jason. Uh, Jason.
You better shower. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I promise. He's talking to her to me. <laughs> One more peacock. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for doing all those noises. And thank you guys all out there for watching. We'll be in Kansas City starting uh, Thursday. We'll be there Thursday, Friday, and Saturday bringing you behind the scenes of uh, what should be a great UFC fight night next week on Fox.